Hunter, Hunter. Oh. This is Wall of Text X Wall of Text Chapter 394. Uh, hypothesis. Um, all right. Uh, Hunter, Hunter was uh, kicked my ass a little bit last week. This week I have notes. Uh, very excited. Okay. So last we left off. Leorio. So last we left off. We had uh, the under, like the the sub, the second in commands of the uh, GU and the Cha R, uh, investigating a uh, supposed Haley uh, hideout. Uh, this rival gang that they've been dealing with lately, um, that is kind of throwing off and upsetting the balance of the lower tiered passengers. Uh, so they arrive at this uh this room, and there's just a single old man in there. And um, this guy's just sitting in there just like, I don't mind stepping over that way if you guys wanted to investigate the room. But see, I need to use the bathroom over there. And um, the GU uh, second in command, the GU underboss is like, well, just wet your pants. I'm not kidding. And he's like, what? Have a heart. Uh, And then he just like... he does not have a heart, and he throws a knife directly at the guy's leg. Uh, he screams in pain and falls, and he's just like, ah, how could you? I haven't done anything wrong. Uh, but the GU boss, uh, underboss, notices that he, uh, Heinrich, I think his name is, uh, notices that, like, there's no blood from the wound that he just made. Uh, and he's mm. like, where's your real body? And uh, that's when the guy starts to dissipate, and he disappears completely. Um, Henrig is his name. Uh, The Cha'ar boss is like, Henrig, can't we leave the Haley to this phantom troop? We already found, you found Hisoka. We could just leave this to them. Uh, And one of the, uh, I guess, I I don't remember which underling this is, but he goes into the room to retrieve the knife. Maybe he's one of the GU guys. He goes in to retrieve the knife. He disappears once he enters the room. Turns out they were right to not enter immediately uh, as this was also a trap. Uh, the the supposition being that if you step into this room, you will be transported somewhere else. Um, so at that point, that's when the char kind of clinches it. It's like, you know, this is a trap. This is an end trap. But it's not the trap of the guy that's been that we've been hunting as the Phantom Troop mm-hmm. has already eliminated them. Um, so, you know, they should just take care of this as well while they're at it because they are the best and they cannot be stopped. Um, you already know. We then get to get to see, uh, what happens to the guy who disappeared. Uh, and he's just staring at a closed door. He's like, huh? Why am I in front of a door? As someone pulls up behind him and shanks him in the neck, killing him. Pretty brutal. Uh, I am just like, God damn, that's, uh, that's, that's pretty crazy. Uh, holy shit that one gets one of that and yeah he just tosses him to the side and at that point this guy makes it to 21 and what that means is uh the boss of the Haley, uh known as uh what's i knew her name i have her name here (sighs) her name is motherfucking oh my god whatever she's the Haley boss her ability is that she can, through her saliva, uh, give people abilities, up to 22 people abilities. Uh, she has 22 underlings in total, or had. One of them's dead. And she's infected all of them with her contagion ability, giving them uh, nan abilities. But they don't get it right away. They have to kill a certain amount of people to really unlock these abilities. They have to reach a certain level. They have to reach level like 20 or so. Um, if you, and, uh, by killing certain people, they get more or less points. Killing regular people bumps you up a level, one level. Killing Nen, uh, Nen, uh, people in general, uh, gives you, uh, 50 points. Wait, no. Nen users are worth, uh, 10 points, 10 Mm -hmm. levels, and, um, princes are worth 50. So, if you kill a Nen user... You get bumped up 10, po- 10 levels. And if you get to level 21, then you're able to take on an ability of your own. Um, so that's a lot of folks that have abilities that are now on this boat. We then get a brief scene with the um, with the leader of um, 
the uh, the Haley uh, just kind of giving out orders there, you know, to her people. Um, they're they've been discovered earlier than they thought they would be, obviously. So they're just like, oh man, uh, we gotta we gotta move a little faster now. Um, she orders a couple folks to keep watch over the door. She and um and to look for. Uh, the third prince, uh, Seri, we're going to abbreviate his name as well. Uh, the fourth prince, uh, Seri, or he's, is he the third? The third prince, Seri. Uh, and if they find any of his people to bring them there so she can infect them with contagion and uh, she'll be able to keep track of their movements and keep an eye on uh, on Seri. She orders this main guy named Dogman, who seems to have a dog for a mask. Yeah. Um to find what she's looking for. I'm not really sure what that means. But um, he mentions that he'll have to level up. He's currently at 36. So she's like, yes, go to processing and take priority. Get yourself past level 50. So I'm sure Dogman will be a somewhat significant antagonist going forward. Um, Dogman? Dogman is his name. <laughs> um. So we get uh, a brief scene of hein- Henrik uh, going back to uh, this cat that he planted. And his ability is that he can uh, basically turn technology into animals. So he basically had this camera on this whole time disguised as a cat. And he's just basically. Uh, it's not just technology. It's like any item. I think any non-sentient item he could turn oh, okay. into an animal. I thought it was like specifically some kind of technology. Even if yeah, because he weapons. turned he turned uh birds into handcuffs. Yeah, no, that's true. Time. You're right. Um, you're right about that. Oh no, he turned handcuffs into birds. Yeah, he it's could he around. could turn uh, items into animals. So yeah, he's just reviewing the footage that he left behind, and we spend the rest of the chapter with the uh, royal the personal guards of the uh, prince Seri, uh, Serendich, the one that uh, Kurapika Kurapika is after. Uh, this whole time as they're busting down a door, they're also looking for the Haley. Um, and they find a dead body, which is the body of a Char member. Um, and at this point, I refer to my notes because this is uh, actually very important. Um, so they find out that they find this dead body in the goddamn room. And um, they're, they're thinking that like, oh, cool, we have justification for breaking in the door. We could actually get the cops involved and help us out here. Um, but then uh, one of them mentions that the Haley are not registered as criminals, or, or not criminals, but mafia people. They're registered as civilians, which mm. is what throws off the balance here in terms of the mafia and why everybody's pissed at the Haley. Because they're supposed to have uh, registered as mafia. Because if they're like normal people and they start like fighting, then that like brings a lot of un- unwanted attention towards the mafia. Um, so if it looks like the mafia are just starting shit with regular civilians, then uh, the fear is that at some point the hunter association and the princes are going to elect to just eliminate the mafia altogether. And uh, seeing as how Haley has the ability to give Nen uh, to people it's just going to be an all-out war in the lower tiers, which is basically what they kind of want because there's some kind of weird sacrifice thing going on here with the lower tiers. So these, uh, this small royal guard are just like spend a lot of this chapter just kind of conversing with themselves about the possibilities of Haley's actions coming back to bite them in the ass pretty hard. Uh, so their plan is to just find her right now try to like find her and turn her in before she ruins everything for everybody um and also protect prince sari because sari seems to be friendly with them to some degree um so yeah uh at the same time they are not exactly looking to find her themselves they're i guess their priority is to save their own lives and, you know, not get involved with the big boss of this whole thing. So they're going to pretend to look for her, but not really try to find her. Um, but overall, the intent with the royal, f- the small subsect of royal army people is to, 
like make sure that the mafia war doesn't get any more exacerbated than it already is. Uh, yeah. Cause then it'll be a fucking riot war bloodbath in the lower tiers. And uh, Bro, they'll break the whole ship down. Yeah. They'll, they'll sink it. So, you know, it's basically, yeah, it's a, it's a pretty tense situation. Uh, Oh, her name is Morena. There you go. Found it in the notes. <laughs> um, so, yeah, they're just trying not to give an excuse to the hunters to for to give the hunters or the royal family any excuse to murder all of them. So, very excited about it. Um, but that that's basically the gist of the chapter. It is just that discussion and trying to figure out exactly what this is. There's not a lot really plot wise. Did we get a little bit of progression with these new characters that are now part of the fray? One of the many of side characters that we're gonna that we're getting now and um, we're trying to keep track of. Um, I don't know if you guys uh, read this. I'm not. Sh- I know you guys aren't exactly caught up. Um, but if, if you have Josh, do you have any thoughts about uh, Hunter Hunter three ninety four? Oh I'm my caught. god! So um, like last week, I'm oh I'm literally three chapters prior to this. But I have a gist of what's going on. I mean, there's so much to follow with this, with all the extra side characters. But I, I'm so much more interested on in what's going on in tier one. But you know, I don't this whole cat and mouse shit. Like, who are these five guys? Therefore, to protect our own lives, we will avoid her at all costs. What the fuck are they talking about? That so you bring about, that up uh, again, Marina. Okay, yeah, she is a buck out. Yeah, um, you, I, when I read that part that she was, you know, when she started bestowing people, like, with kissing them or whatever, like, with the Nen abilities, I was like, oh, shit, man, that's, that's next level. Somebody's going to manifest a weirdo ability and break everything. I hope not. What's up with this guy's forehead? I love this. I love his art. Which guy's forehead? But, Oh, uh, if you go to page fourteen, <laughs> yeah, he's got a weird four. It's a weird hairline, I think. Yo, oh my god, his his hairline looked like the Great Wall of China. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, look at how big. Why is his forehead so fucking veiny and tense? Because he's pissed. wrong with him. He's angry, Captain. He's he. Uh, he hasn't smiled in years. No, not once. Boy, do you have any thoughts about this chapter outside of what everything you already said? Brian, you know, like, you I, this is a lot, man. Uh, I'm a oh, big fan. Brian. I'm a big fan of um, the mafia guy with the knife, the guy who throws in shit. Yeah, I really H- like Henry. I really like his style. I, I like the way he thinks. I like the way he operates. He's just super interesting character. Um, I'm also curious as to what Nen abilities manifest from the people who are infected by this, um, by this ability. They all get because, different ones. Yeah, I know they all get different ones, but I'm curious to see what happens because uh, this guy was hoping for to be an emitter, but instead he got what was a manipulator conjure. He got Conjurer. So that's the same class as um, Kurapika or um, was it that girl from the Phantom Troop Kurapika with the vacuum? Is a special. No, he's only a specialist when he activates Emperor Time. Yeah, uh, no. Normally he's a Conjurer yes. without oh. Emperor Time. So um, we get to, um, I'm curious to see what kind of abilities these guys bring up. Um, because it's super, super interesting uh, with these people who don't really have crazy Nen training, uh, what comes up from their abilities. Because um, they always co- happen to be really weird and unique. Like um, this guy who I was talking about, he has a really unique Nen ability, but he doesn't come from the Hunter Association. And I feel like it's more unique because of that. Um so I'm I'm really interested to see what happens uh with with these guys um and what more comes from it. 
Yeah. Um, obviously, there's a lot to keep track of. Josh is right about that. I mean, I have to read Hunter Hunter a couple times over to really grasp everything that's happened. And I know that's not an uncommon experience. Um, well, actually, real quick, before you get oh, into your thoughts. Yeah, go for it. I'm pretty sure they're setting up one of these infected people to end up in tier one. Which is why they're setting this up so much. And um, you get extra points for killing a prince. So it kind of has to happen, you know? The, a prince has to either... I think a prince has to die to this. Um, yeah. Well, um, Miranda noted, uh, noted that she wants someone from the fourth prince's guard in general. So these five soldiers, one of them could be infected with contagion and sent up to where Sari is and, and fuck shit up. I think that's what's being built up here. Um, but yeah, uh, like Josh said, there's a lot going on. Um, and I, I feel good about deciphering it. It is fun when you, when you do understand what's going on and you can really like kind of put the pieces together. This, yeah. this arc has been very good. It's very interesting. I feel like a big tense nature from this chapter in particular, because it is all about breaking down the worst case scenario that can happen from this and building up, you know, the, the, po the worst possible case that could uh, result from Haley's action from the Haley's actions and Moraine's actions. And what is probably going to come to pass. I really don't know how they get back, how they win this because so many of the Haley already have abilities and they're just out here causing trouble for no reason so is it when you reach level 100 that you infect your own set of people oh uh, uh or is it level 20 i'm not sure no i think it's uh i have it open somewhere here um but i think there's definitely a level where you're like where you you do get to infect your own other uh folks um and I'll get back to you on, on that in a second. I'm looking at oh, Okay, cool, it. cool. But uh, in any case, yeah, it's it's really cool. I do feel this tense moment. Everything feels like it's really building to something here. It it feels like loosely connected, and it feels like um, Togashi's going off in a little bit of a tangent, but everything that's going on in the lower tiers will will probably come to a head with the upper tiers, especially since... They're trying, like, everybody's kind of trying to get up there in one way or another. Um, but yeah, I, I'm really excited for Hunter Hunter. I'm, I'm glad it's back, and you know, I'm, I'm happy to read it a couple times over. It's, it's a fun <laughs> manga to read. Um, so yeah, I, I don't really have many other thoughts. This was, it, it wasn't an inconsequential chapter, but it was a very slow one and very, and, um, very, packed out i try not to super meticulous yeah i try not to uh meander too much on hunter hunter and try not to focus so much on uh the very minute details unless they're very prevalent and try to try to give a big picture in particular because there is just such a detail here right you have to keep the you really do have, you're, you're right chris um you got to keep the big picture in mind it's helpful that you kind of do a little bit of research to do so yeah. But I'll tell you this, man. Once I get to the point where I'm, where I am cut off, what caught up, reading the the new chapter twice will do wonders, man. Like yeah. it's just it's so so many different games going on, yeah. man. That dude getting stabbed in his knee and then he was like, "All right, I'm not really hurt." That shit was hilarious. <laughs> yeah, I watch um, chapter breakdowns while I read it just so I could so I get a good perspective that understands the series and uh, won't miss things generally. So I'll well, be reading it and I'll be like, Oh, okay. I didn't notice well, that. That's what I'd like to be one day for this show, <laughs> for this series, you know? Um, but yeah. Uh, one thing I did neglect to mention is that these guys uh, do suppose that Sari is learning Nen on his own, which is the reason he hasn't directly responded because they figured that like it's weird that he's not doing anything, because this is within his realm to be like Seri would probably do something here. So uh, the only other reason is that he himself is learning Nen. So there's mm. that. They also suppose that you know Morena can use Nen, uh, but none of these soldiers can use Nen, by the way. So they're kind of like 
in the dark about the whole situation. But anyway, if I missed anything, let me know. Uh, in terms of that, I really like this chapter overall, uh, even though it took me a while to really grasp everything. But I really, I, I enjoy reading Hunter Hunter. I truly do. Even though it sounds like it, it feels like a chore, but at the end no, of the day, it's, it's not that, you know, it is a ton of information. Like, you know, what's funny? I think Hunter Hunter and One Piece had very similar types of chapters. And like, I think the. A lot of people talk about how One Piece has a lot of, like, clutter in its art these days, and I, I don't disagree. I think, like, the artwork in One Piece is a lot more condensed, and there's a lot more talking that goes on in every chapter, but I feel like Oda is good at making his information palatable, and I guess his whole his whole series is not as intricate and meticulous as Tagashi's. Um, not to take anything away from One Piece in saying that, it just kind of is. Uh, there's not a billion moving pieces in one island doing different things and introducing new characters every single chapter. He's someone that focuses more on the big picture. Yeah, you know, and you know, I'm sure we'll get a little bit more. There'll there'll be a lot more speech bubbles in One Piece, so to speak. But um, yeah, Hunter Hunter is special. <laughs> I don't think we have to explain it anymore. I think a lot of people feel the same. Um, because. To fill in some blanks, I did look at, like, the Reddit for Hunter Hunter and, you know, try to, like, fill in blanks on my own as well. And a lot of people feel the same. So it's, um, but, you know, it's something about Hunter Hunter that it perseveres anyway. But those are my thoughts. 